Hi, my name is Rebecca Haug. I'm a current second year gastroenterology and hepatology fellow here at UVA. I did my medical school um, in Richmond at VCU, and then I did my internal medicine residency and chief resident here at UVA. Um, when I was thinking about where I wanted to go for a fellowship, um, it was a really easy decision to stay here at UVA. I think for a huge variety of reasons, it was really easy to stay. Um, you know, UVA, the GME, and, and the GI department is so incredibly supportive of me, and I really feel that support in so many aspects of my life. I think, um, you know, their goal is to make me an excellent gastroenterologist at the end of three years. But one of the things that is, is really amazing is that they also care about my life outside of the hospital. Um, you know, my husband is a trainee as well. He's an orthopedic surgery fellow. And we have a daughter who's 16 months old. And I feel incredibly supported to have a family life outside of the hospital. I think one of the, the wonderful things about the GI Fellowship is that their motto has always been family first, which is um, incredibly wonderful and supportive. You know, things that come with illness and things that come with a young child is, is illness. And, you know, when our daughter gets sick or when one of us gets sick, it's, it's always family first, um, which I just feel like it fosters an incredibly supportive environment. You know, once I started fellowship here, I immediately felt a part of the GI family. Um, and with that, I feel like there's an incredible balance of, you know, support and autonomy. Um, I feel almost as if I'm treated as a junior faculty member. Um, I feel like I get the same benefits, the same nursing support, the same staff support that the faculty members have here. And I really, f truly feel like I'm valued as an important part of the department here. Um, and I think it's a, a hard balance to, to figure out the amount of support and autonomy. And they do a really good job of, um, you know, letting me fly on my own and feeling like I'm really making clinical decisions and impacts. So one of the goals um, of UVA is to make me a really excellent clinical physician at the end of my three years of training. Um, but the department's goal is not just to make me an excellent clinical physician, but to also figure out what I want to do with my life and help me achieve it and help me get there. And so there have just been so many resources and so many people who their main goal is just to help me figure out what I want to do and help me achieve it. Um, whether that's working in private practice, working in an academic environment, staying here, or going far away, I feel like there's incredible amounts of support in the program to try to help me figure out what it is that I want to do and, and help me get there. So we do have a research requirement, um, which is incredibly easy to achieve. Um, we are assigned a research, a research mentor at the beginning of our fellowship um, who not only helps us identify a project that we can easily accomplish, but also helps us with resources such as money to help fund our research and um, people to help us with statistics. So um, the, the research component is incredibly easy to achieve um, and if, um, just because of the resources that we have. You know, in general at UVA, we, um, we value diversity and, and I think that it's an incredibly important component of recruitment and I think it's something that UVA and the, the GI department truly values. You know, it's something that we're striving to continue to improve and attain. We get the opportunity to meet the um, the incoming potential fellows during the interview season. We get to meet them. Last year it was over Zoom. I'm not sure if it'll be in person this year or not, but um, we get the opportunity to meet them and hang out with them over Zoom and kind of answer any questions that they have.